Hello, this is Mark, Casey at GRQ. I'm going to do a quick demo of my Twitter to pager uh, setup that I've got here. I've got a visit uh, pager, it's a UHF POXAG pager. Um, what this is set up to do is retrieve tweets from a specific Twitter account that I've got, and it'll check it every five minutes and send uh, newest tweets to this pager here. Uh, what it is, is I wrote a couple PHP scripts here and copied a little bit. Uh, first one is gettweet.php. What that does is it will, I've got a scheduled task that runs every five minutes, checks this file here. That file will go and pull the last tweet sent from Twitter. Uh, as long as it's not an at reply, it'll get that tweet. Uh, next step in the file, it checks this last tweet.txt file uh, to see if it's a duplicate. If it is a duplicate, it just dies. If it's something new, it will, the next step is to send it to this page tweet.php, which basically just takes that tweet and uh, encodes it in the pager format that the POXAG encoder needs with the uh, the file format for the um, 1200 baud and the cap code for the pager. That next sends it to this PHP serial class file, which basically just controls the serial port, uh, sends it out, pushes it through the serial port over to serial port here on this Visiplex pager encoder. So it's a Visiplex uh, UHF pager encoder. Right now it's on the hand bands of 448.600, just a small little, it says 2 watt, I think it's a watt and a half uh, transmitter. Uh, just got it on a little rubber duck antenna. Normally that automatically sends out every five minutes, but manually I can send it right now. So what I'll do is I'll come up here and just run this and execute it. When I execute it, the you can see the lights on here. It's got the green LED for the status, power status, which is on. Um, I can execute it, and then up here you're going to hear it on this, this scanner here, which is just monitoring it on that receiver. So I'll execute it here. And... That quick goes, you can hear it over the air, and pops it right up on the scanner, or on the uh, pager there. So it's pretty quick, uh, only takes a couple seconds to do it, and it's pretty handy, that way I can tell the difference between a personal tweet uh, from some of my friends on there that I get their their messages automatically, or I can have this, which I've got set up for the uh, fire pager alerts and specific alerts that I want set up. So I'll be posting all the code online on my website, mark-rogers.com, and I'll provide the link. 73 from KC8 GRQ.